Hello, all my amazing GovCon winners, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Kizzy Parks. I'm here to talk all about networking with rich, wealthy government contractors. When it comes to networking, it's vital to offer something of value. So when I first started out, my value was around my advanced degree, my eight a set aside, my small business set aside, and my woman owned small business set aside. Because large companies are unable to compete if something is set aside, period, right? Because in the federal government space, you're either large or you're small, there's nothing in between. So for them to be able to compete in this small set aside pool, they must partner. So that was one of the value adds that I offered. And so I was able to attract a lot of rich contractors and big businesses because it was something that added value to them. In other words, I'm helping their bottom line. So when it comes to networking with these different rich individuals, as I'm saying, as I'm kind of calling them in this video, you must be prepared to offer value. I was also able to back it up in that I had past performance. So often what will happen is someone may believe because they have a set aside, automatically someone wants to network with them or leverage their services or partner with them or form a joint venture. And that's not the case whatsoever. The other thing that's key when it comes to networking, and that is that it's a relationship that takes time to nurture. So it's important to also know where do you go for all of this, okay? Right, you're going to need to go to what I call advanced outreach events. These are events that are held by women in defense, any type of national defense organization, association, big defense government trade shows, blacks in government, any and all of those types of events, because typically it's going to draw in definitely business development individuals, definitely um, it's going to bring in the different clients or potential clients. And often it may even bring in some of the C-suite. So then you can really go straight to the source because the end goal is you want to be able to help take you and your business to the next level through a partnership. And the best way to partner is with someone who's out there already doing it. It's super important. There are a variety of places where you can go to learn about these events. Many of them are in person. Some of them are virtual. What's key is you got to get out there and meet people. Often you're probably going to encounter the business development person that happened before I ended up with uh, my official mentor protege relationship, I had met her business development person. And through her, I was able to then get in with her. It took some time. It probably took a few years before we actually um, formulated that mentor protege relationship, but it was well worth it in the long run. Additionally, you want to attend one-on-one -on -one matchmaking events whether they're in person or online, when they list that different companies are going to be there. Even if they're names that you may not recognize, you still want to research that company. Chances are they're probably a big company and you're going to want to attend because then that's going to help fast track you to connecting with this rich contractor who is rich with opportunities potentially for you. So attend those events. Typically they're advertised through a small business rep, through um, Eventbrite and on sam.gov. Next, you want to go through the various lists out there of prime contractors. You wanna go through that list and then you wanna also look those companies up on LinkedIn to see if you have any type of connection to that company to get an idea of who works for that company. So then you can try to arrange a meeting with them to offer value to them. Please keep in mind 
Just because a company is on that list does not mean they're looking to give you work or give a small business work. I had that happen recently where someone was very upset. They were like, I don't understand. Why are they on this list? Isn't the purpose of this list for them to partner with small businesses? No, it's not the purpose. So it goes back to how I started this video. You must offer value. If there's a value there, then amazing. That's what you're looking for. Through a relationship with IBM, who I met at a one-on-one -on -one event, and then I followed up, which is another vital step in all of this, is you have the meeting, or you, you're sharing some drinks at a networking event, or you're getting to know each other at some type of luncheon. For instance, the Navy, they'll hold um, several luncheons in the Orlando area. I'm sure they do this in other locations. And these are all amazing. However, comma, you must follow up and follow up at least weekly, at least weekly, because you want this person to be like, oh my gosh, wow, this Kizzy is not playing. She really wants my attention. Yeah, you want their attention because most people aren't going to do that. They're not. They're never going to do it. That's why so many businesses do not succeed because you have to be willing to do what most people aren't willing to do. And I'm your mentor. I'm here to help guide you through that. And don't forget to join the community in Facebook, y'all, for even more mentorship. So I followed up with IBM, Miss Mary. Mary's her name. I followed up with her so much. One time she wrote me and said, Kizzy, it's working. Let's have a meeting. She did. And there was a need there that we provided. They were looking for a minority, a certified minority business to get involved in a couple different line items for them. We've been working with them for almost a year through my flagship company. It's an exchange. It's a business exchange. The more patience, the more value, the more patience, the more value, the more follow-up, the more you're willing to do things. Most people won't. You will have nothing but Success, success, success. LinkedIn. You can just go straight to LinkedIn and start to search companies based on profession. You can look at under space, government contracting. You can start just looking up job titles that you think, hey, these kind of go along with government contracting. Let me look them up. Let me see who these people are and start to connect with them. Because the cool thing about LinkedIn is when you um, engage with someone's profile, they're alerted, which yeah, most of the platforms, of course they do that, but here's the difference. Most people aren't active on LinkedIn. That's why organic growth is so common. So when you engage with them, it's really going to alert them because they're gonna wonder who in the heck is engaging with my platform? I haven't been on there in ages. You're gonna stand out. And it at least provides that opportunity for you to have a discussion, for you to learn about them, for you to be able to offer a solution to them, for you to offer value. Because those of you who are watching, you have something that rich contractors don't. You have time. You have time. And more than likely, you have a set aside that they really desire, especially for my A-Days out there. So this is, this is the place for you. The other one. Other idea for you on my amazing GovCon winners. Now, I know this is going to take a special person to do this, but I know you can do it. I know you can do it. On the SBA website, there is a list of active mentors and protégés. A mentor can mentor two people during the history of their existence. That's the current law. So wouldn't it make sense to reach out to a protege? Wouldn't a protege want to mentor someone? And chances are they're probably a rich contractor, be rich with knowledge, rich with experience, rich with contracts. So check out that list. Reach out to the protégés. My mentor, she was a protege. Repeatedly, she would say, I don't want you to experience what I experienced, Kizzy. I want you to have a different experience with a mentor than what I had. She became my mentor officially through the SBA. So check out that list. I'll make sure it's in the um, description. It's somewhere here. Reach out to them. Introduce yourself. Get to know them. See what value you can offer them. You never know. Maybe they're an 8A graduating soon, or maybe you have a hub zone certification and they don't have a hub zone. Maybe you have some type of clearance or expertise, or you offer a product or service 
that they would love to learn more about. What's important is doing the things no one else is teaching you about. You know nobody else on YouTube is telling you to do this. Come on now. Got 10 years experience in this. I'm here to help you all level up, right? To get at least six figures in business at a minimum. That's what I'm looking to do for you. Check out the Facebook group, subscribe, hit that notification button. Check out govconwinners.com. Get on that wait list. I'm telling you, I'm expensive. Not the price of a Rolls Royce SUV. Ooh, gosh, I can't wait till one day I'm gonna have one of those. <laughs> it's definitely not the price of a Range Rover, but it's also not as cheap as a cup of coffee, y'all. Till next time, don't forget, everything is possible, my amazing GovCon winners. Take care.